Somebody once told me that if you want to become an executive, you need to learn how to think like an executive. So what is the mindset that executives have? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Hi, my name is Tom Cox, and I'm the founder of Vertical Motion, where we help you find, land, and excel in your next executive role. If you're stuck at the manager level and you're an aspiring executive and you want to move up, or you're already an executive and you're looking to level up your career, this is the channel you want to subscribe to. You can also reach me over on Instagram at Tom Cox VM, where we can talk about specific issues that are going on in your career. And if you really want to level up your game, consider reaching out to me about the executive career accelerator that we run. We've had tremendous results already, and I'll leave a link down below to some of the testimonials from our uh, the, the folks that have gone through this program already, but it's been phenomenal. So we had one person, she's moved from the director level to the VP level um, in a dream job for her, and she has a clear path to uh, the CMO position in a couple years. And the other person, she was laid off and kind of in a bad way. Well, she wound up interviewing with seven companies and accepted her dream job as well just recently. So it's been a phenomenal experience already for several clients. Want to get you involved as well. So reach out to me and we can set up a call and talk about it. So with that, let's get into the content for today. All right. So we're talking about executive mindset today. And so what this is, is what, how does an executive think about things? What goes through their mind when they make decisions, right? And so you've probably been in a situation where you've brought to an executive an idea and they're like, yeah, that's great for us, but what about the rest of the company? Or they've talk to you about something that you don't really understand why it's important because it doesn't really impact uh, your group. Well, it's because executives have a global mindset. They're looking at things across the entire organization. So we're going to talk about five specific mindset shifts that executives make when they reach that level of their career. All right, so let's get into it. So mindset shift one is making decisions from the perspective of the entire organization. And so let's take, for example, a CFO, chief financial officer. They're making decisions not just about the finance department or the HR department or whatever groups that they may run, but the decisions they make impact the entire organization. So uh, another way to look at it, if you think about like a chief marketing officer, um, when she's looking at opportunities to improve the marketing message, she has to think about how that impacts the sales team, operations, uh, the technical team, and so forth. And so there's a bunch of interrelations that you have to think about at this level. And so that brings us to the second mindset shift, which is you're not just thinking about things in terms of your department. You're thinking about how to help the entire organization succeed. And so it's not uncommon for someone from operations to have an idea that helps the technical team do their job better. Or if a product executive can help the finance team do something differently. That's very common at the executive level because at that level, everybody's charged with making the entire organization better than it already is. It's not just about making marketing better, making operations better. It's about the entire organization. And so that brings us to the third mindset shift that you have to make. Executives think about things horizontally, vertically, and through time. So what does that mean? Horizontally. Executives look at things, we just kind of talked about this with those two first mindset shifts, which are extremely important. They have to be able to look across things, right? So they're looking across not only their department and the rest of the departments of the company, but they're also looking across the industry, across everything that's going on laterally around us at the same time at this moment. But they also have to think about things vertically. And so what does that mean? So you've heard the phrase, you know, well, give me uh, the high level version of this. Talk to me about this at the 30,000 foot level. Well, so executives need to be able to have conversations at the 30,000 foot level, but they also need to be able to have conversations at the five foot level. And so what that looks like is you will see an executive's calendar where they're going from a massive strategic planning session where they're thinking big picture, you know, outside the box, what's going to happen, you know, five years down the road, what's our strategy, all of that big picture stuff. And the very next meeting is about some very specific detailed thing that's going on. And so they have to then come all the way down to this five foot level where they're really locked in on something that's going on that's very specific, right? And so this ability to, to go from very small 
individual specific topics right away to very large strategic concepts. I call this context shifting. And it's this really sometimes frustrating experience where you have to think big picture, then little picture, then big picture. Um, or another way to say it is thinking vertically, you know, thinking things at 50,000 feet, then 15 feet, then 10,000 feet, and so forth. Uh, really good executives get good at this. You just learn how to very quickly context shift from meeting to meeting. So that's a real important mindset shift to make to become an executive. So the fourth mindset shift that executives make is they don't answer questions. They ask questions of the right people. And so this was something that took me a little bit of time to figure out early in my executive career. When I first became an executive, I thought that what executives did was answer questions. So people would come up to you and say, I have this problem, I have that problem, and I would solve those problems. I felt like I was very prescriptive in solving specific problems that individuals had. What I've learned over time is that actually executives don't answer questions. They ask more questions than they answer. And this is important because what you're doing is you are finding the right people to solve the problems and then you're asking them questions about their solution to help kind of guide and steer that solution in the right direction or help them think about things maybe they're not thinking about. Remember that you are leading an organization that you have built to solve problems. And so it's not for you to solve the problems, it's for you to build a team who can solve problems. And you want to empower that team to solve those problems. You wanna look over their shoulder and guide and nudge people in the right direction. But at the end of the day, you should be asking more questions by the end of the day than you've answered. And that leads us into our fifth and final point for today, which is executives are building the organization. They're not building the product. So when you reach the C-suite, CEO, CTO, CFO, CMO, whatever, right? You're at that level. You're no longer a software developer. You're no longer a manager of people. Now what you're doing is your job is to build the organization that can build the product, right? And so this is something that uh, it took me a while to figure out early in my career. When we were building our first startup, uh, we were using a phrase where in the very beginning when there were just four of us, uh, we were all doers. We did the things. And then as we grew to about 10, 12 people, we now hired people who did the things and we managed the doers. And then as we grew even larger than that to 30, 40, 50 people, we then realized that we were no longer managing the doers. We were managing the managers. And so that's what you do at the executive level is you're managing the managers of the doers. And so, so your job is to put the right people in those management roles and help those managers put the right people in the doer roles. And so you're really organization building at this point. You're not product building. So you want your directors and your uh, individual contributors to be the ones who actually build the company. I'm sorry, that actually build the product. You are building the team that builds the product. And it's a real important mindset shift to keep in mind when you're trying to think like an executive. So those are the five executive mindset shifts that you have to make to move from the manager and director level up to the executive level, right? If you thought today's video was helpful, let me know by leaving a like or leave a comment down below about things you'd like for me to talk about. So we're gonna be talking about executive presence, executive mindset, uh, we're going to talk about executive networking. Um, we're going to talk about personal brand. There's a lot of things that we're going to be talking about on this channel. And we're just getting started. I'm pretty excited. So thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.